Hi, I'm John Hart. Welcome back to Mr. America Hart. I did a video, uh, it's been a few years now, uh, a while back about how to pick up and put down heavy dumbbells. And I neglected at the time, uh, well, I think the title of the video was how to pick up heavy dumbbells safely. And I neglected to add the second half of that, which was how to put them down. I've had a uh, uh, a couple of people ask in that video, you know, how do you put them down safely after picking them up? And I never included that in the video. So I'm going to show you for both the flat dumbbell bench press as well as the incline dumbbell bench press how we're going to pick up these dumbbells and put them down safely. I have at my feet a couple of 60 pound dumbbells, so it's not really heavy, heavy dumbbells. I want pretty much uh, not to go ahead and use the biggest dumbbells in the world right now because I already trained today and you know I'm going to go ahead and show you for the sake of showing you the actual process of how I do it. So I have two dumbbells down by my feet. I'm going to start off with my hands on my knees. This is really important because my butt is up off the seat. I pick up one dumbbell with my other hand supported. My back is flat. Now this hand is supported on my knee with this dumbbell. Now I pick up the other one with my back flat and I sit it down low by my knee. It's important as you hear me say this over and over again that we're putting these dumbbells down by the knee. If I have them down by my knee as opposed to up close to my hip, the dumbbells will have a big arc that they can travel in up to my shoulder. And you'll see that right now when I come back with them. If they're down by my hip, they're just going to roll into my stomach, my belly, and I have to pull them up with my arms anyway. So the main point here is I want to get them up to my shoulders when I roll back. I'm going to do them simultaneously. This is the safest way to do them. I'm going to use my calves to help me and my back. So I'm going to come back like this and swing back with my calves and my back to get these, this weight rolling and my legs. So well, here we go. I'm going to do it in real time. One, two, Straight arms, I push them up, I turn them. Now I'm ready to do my set. Chest held high, shoulders down and back, deep breath in. <sighs> Boom, up it goes. At the end of the set, I turn them back to neutral, and here's the key to put them down safely. I lift my knees back up, and I touch the dumbbells, and I catch them. And the dumbbells actually pull me back up off the bench. So I don't have to drop them on the ground unsafely. I don't hurt my biceps. I don't do any shoulder action. It's really safe. Putting them down on the ground, I'm going to do the opposite that I did before. My butt's going to come up off the bench. Up it comes. I have a flat back. Right dumbbell goes down on the ground. This hand is supported. I put my right hand back on my knee, drop the left hand, dumbbell, and there you go. So that's flat dumbbell bench presses. Here we go on the incline. Okay, we're on our incline dumbbell. I'm going to show you how to do that incline dumbbell press from the floor. The dumbbells are between my legs right now on the floor, between my feet. Same process that we just went through. It's a little bit different when I come back with them. The difference being this. On the flat bench, I was coming back with the dumbbells simultaneously with both legs. On the incline, you can't do that. It's going to slam you back into the bench too hard. So I, I'll end up with the dumbbells on my lower thigh, again, down near my knee, and I'm going to kick one up with my leg, and I'm going to lay back with it, and it's going to hover right here. And then I'm going to kick the other one up. And the moment it gets here, boom, they go up in the air. I adjust them. I do my set, and then back to parallel, and then I come down with them towards my knees. That's it. So... All right, you ready for this? <clears throat> Hands supported on my knee. I'm showing you the opposite of what I just did before. I pick up the dumbbell, I rest it down low. Now my right hand is supported on my knee. My back is supported as well, therefore. Flat back, I pick up the other dumbbell. I have them both up on my knees. At this point, I'm ready to go. Here we go. I still use my back and my right leg to come up in one quick movement. Up it goes, it's hovering. Second one comes up, it's hovering. 
Boom, they go up, chest held high, shoulders down and back. Boom, I do my set. At the end of the set, I turn them, I lift both knees, and I catch them with my knees. The weight pulls me up. At the end of the set, I put my left one down, my right hand is supported, I put my right one down, and that's the safest way we can do dumbbell incline presses. Other than that, the only better way that I can think of is to have partners hand them to you when you're down in the bottom position. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, this is the only way to do it. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart. Hey, if you're liking a lot of the tips that I'm giving, I have several books that I've written on my website on MrAmericaHeart.com. You can go and check them out. Physique 101, Mr. America Shape Up Series, and Year One in the Beginning for Beginners. You can go there. They're available on download and paperback. Check it out on my website. I appreciate that very much. And until next time, from my heart to you, John Hart, off to my left, you're going to see a disc pop up. That's the subscribe button for my channel. Please give that thing a tap. YouTube will let you know I have new videos pop up. Down below, off to your left, is a thumbs up button. Won't you give this video a thumbs up? I appreciate that very much. I'll see you soon.